Oh yes, I'm back. Josh, Deprived Productions with a third world development tutorial in the Unreal Engine 4. I call it world development because we're developing world sun. And I got one right here, I got a little island on this water. It looks real bad because I just got some water. But yeah, I just motored a landscape real quick in the, in the editor. And we're gonna talk about slope-based materials today for our terrain. Now what I mean by that is, we could, we could apply our material and then we learned how to paint it, right? But wouldn't it be cool if Unreal knew based off the slope of the terrain, what material to draw or to change materials or textures or colors. That is what we're gonna learn how to do. So F11, get out of there. We're already in the old DP. So I'm gonna create a new material. I'm gonna name it, I'm gonna name it Scape. I'm gonna name it Scape. You know what I'm talking about? A little, little scape action. And I can click on my click on my landscape, go ahead and apply it. And uh, boom, we're done, just kidding. Let's double click and jump in and move it over to the window like we do, cause you know how we do. Now the thing is, we could hold the number three and grab a collar like we always do, but today we're gonna do something a little different. Instead of holding the number three, I'm gonna have you hold the letter V. And what that's gonna do is create a vector parameter. I'm gonna name this one grass. Now, what I'm doing there is I'm actually creating parameters that we can change later. We've done that before, right? Let's go in here and change the collar of it to like a, like a, it don't matter, like a, like a little bit of a green, right? Now let's create another one, okay? So let's uh, vector. Do it again, hold V and click. You got a vector parameter there, which is basically just kind of like holding the number three, but instead we have a parameter so we can change it. I wanna name it dirt, okay? Got some, we got some dirt, we'll double click and find like a little, little brown, a little brown like that, okay? So there we go, we'll go put the dirt on the top and the grass on the bottom. Now here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab a node and it's called world aligned blend. So if you type in world uh, A, you'll see world aligned blend right there and boom, there it is. You're like, what the crap is that, son? Don't be scared, everything's gonna be okay, I promise. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use this as our slope. And you see these couple things right here? Blend sharpness and blend bias, that's what we need to affect. And there's S's for scalars or one, so we'll hold the number one, and we'll hold the number one again, and we'll plug one in here, and we'll plug one in here for now, right? And there we go. Now the thing is, if we go ahead and just apply this green material, or the, or the brown or the green, we understand what that does. But we need to use both. So since we're gonna use this as an alpha map, right? We'll go ahead and lerp, because you know how we lerp. Okay, you know how we've done this? So plug out in the alpha, okay? And then let's go plug the grass into the bottom here and plug the dirt into the top. You know what I'm talking about, okay? And then we're just gonna plug this into base collar. Okay, big old line, draw, draw a big old line there and then boom. Now look at our material. We're not gonna see anything yet. That's because these are set to zero. So go ahead and change this blend sharpness, okay? Let's set that one to 50 for now, okay? Let's show you what it does. Now watch what happens to our little ball here. Our little, our little, oh, you see what's going on there? If I move it, it's gonna freak out. It's like, no, no, but still like seriously, you can see that it's basing it off of a slope. But here's the thing, we need it to be a little, little less than that. Now that what the sharpness is doing is deciding how sharp the edge is. Cause if I put it at 10, you'll notice now that the, 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 uh, the blend between grass and dirt is a little, a little more fine. And if I set it to like 500, you'll see that it's gonna be a real, real, real powerful, sharp, sharp transition there. Well, that 50 was actually pretty good. You know what I'm saying? It's a pretty good transition for now, just for testing purposes. So let's click on this another one. And instead of zero, check it out. Set it to negative 10. And watch what happens here. See what's going on here. This is the blend bias. So actually the slope itself, oh, you see how the grass is a little higher. So now at about this slope, it's gonna switch, that's, that's a little too much. Check this number out, negative 21. That's the one we're gonna use, son. You can't be scared. It's got a little slope here, which actually wait for it to load up here and you'll see that just the top is green and the rest is brown. We got a little, little green at the top, a little brown all around, you know what I'm talking about? So boom, there we go. So now let's save it, let's go ahead and save it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out to our world and see what it's doing. Now what it should do is anything flat should be grass, but at a certain slope, it should switch colors. So if we look at our landscape here, it's not doing anything, I'll F11 and I'll, Walk around here and wait for something, fly around. We just gotta wait. Oh, there we go, son. I'm talking about because we got grass here. Now see, we just saved ourselves a bunch of painting time. <laughs> you know, seriously, if you had to paint that, it'd be a couple, several minutes, you know what I'm saying? But see, what it's doing is taking the slope in each one and it's kinda, it's kinda basing it. So this is flat, so they got grass up here and dirt around the sides and stuff like that, okay? Kinda like a cool idea. It's got brown around these sides right here. I didn't do a really good job of shaping that, but this is just for testing purposes again. So let's take it a step further. You know what I'm talking about? Let's jump back into it real quick right here. Now one. I'm gonna go ahead and hold the number one because I'm picky and plug a zero into metallic because there is nothing metallic about landscapes. You understand what I'm saying? We're gonna need one more vector. So let's go up here and by vector, I mean just vector parameter, hold the letter V and type in the word rock. I think if you spell that right, rock would be R-O-C-K R -O -C -K for those who can't spell or talk. So uh, let's, pick a, let's pick a dark gray collar. Maybe like, 
It's about like, uh, it's about like there. It's like a, a grayish collar, okay? Now, here's the thing. We've already lurped between these two. Well, now we need to lurp between another one of these. So check it out. I'm going to grab all this, okay? All that. Don't panic. Everything's going to be fine. I'm going to grab all this in Control-C and bring it up here in Control-V, and we have it here. Now, we got the same setup, but instead, let's, uh, let's move this, uh, let's move this lerp down here a little bit so it's, it's, it's with us, you know what I'm saying, and, and bring these up a little bit, you know, make everything. Now, let's take this one we've already done, this is the grass and the dirt, and put it in B of here. And let's put rock in one, okay? And we're going to plug this into our base collar now. So we're taking the one we've already done and then adding rock to it. Now, if we use the same numbers, it's going to produce the same effect. But let's say I turn that negative 19 or negative 21 to a negative 19. So I'm going to drop the rock a little bit. I'm just going to drop it a little bit. If I set it back to zero, it'd be in the middle, right? Well, I just dropped it a little bit. So you can get, oh, up, up, about to it there for, about to it. About to it there. You got a little grass, then it converts to, to rock after the good to dirt and then to rock. You know what I'm saying? And this value would obviously change how low or high you want that to go. So we got now, we have three of these values, boom, in there. We're going to save that. And now what we should see is a transition or a transition or a blend from grass to like a little bit of dirt and then mainly rock for the slope. So just a little bit of, little bit of dirt between our grass and our rock sun. Okay. Let's see how it did here. We'll fly around a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay, you see what I'm doing? Yeah, we're just using collars. We haven't even talked about textures and textures and normal maps do the exact same thing, but we can get a little more exciting. You know what I'm talking about? We got, we got, we got some slope-based collars now. We get F11, so check this out. Let's right-click on this, create material instance, and now we have the instance of this, okay? So now, basically, I can click on this, okay? And I can grab the, grab the, the scape instance and drag it on here. And of course, nothing changed, but I can double click. And now I have our instance. Now what I'll do is I'll pull it out here and put it about right there. Maybe, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe I can see it where we can see both screens. Okay, so now what's going on is I've got the dirt, the grass, and the rock collars we created because we talked about material instance before. So now I could be like, man, I want that dirt to be a little little more yellow. I want this this grass to be a little little darker. And we are changing this bad baby on the fly. One of the brown mountains or something like that. Look, we just literally changed everything. I mean, we're, we, we just got started. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's do one more thing. We're already, we're already having fun with this. Let's, let's bring us over here and go ahead and save our material instance. The material instance is now our material. But if we make changes in the master material here, the instance will still update to it. So if we create more scalar parameters and parameters, it will add to them. And boom, when we open it up right here, we will be able to, to toy with them on the fly. So check it out. Let's go back into our material here and do one more thing. I want you to add two more lerps. Now watch what I do here. One here and one here. So what I've got is all these values. Now what I want is we're affecting base collar. I want to affect roughness too. Okay. So let's think about this. We got green, which is the grass. And then we got the dirt is what we got here. So let's think about that. Let's plug this into the, into the alpha of this lerp. And let's think if we hold the number one and grab that, we, we, grass is rough. Pretty rough, so we'll set it to one because it's not very smooth, right? That's pretty good. And then we'll think about dirt. Well, grass will be, dirt will be, dirt will be pretty rough. You can get rough with it. You know what I'm saying? Don't be scared. Get, get a little rough. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll plug this into the second one, like we did the last time. Plug this one into the alpha of this one. And then we need, we need one more number one. You know what I'm talking about plug it in here. Think about, think about rock. This is gonna be a little, it's gonna be a little less rough. A little point two. A little soft with it, 0.25. So let's go have a little, basically what's going on now is our grass and our dirt are gonna be really rough. They're not gonna reflect any light, but a rock is actually going to have a little shine to it. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. So we're changing a couple different parameters here. So let's go into our, into our landscape now and actually look at what it's done. And basically what we'll see now is the mountains will have kind of like a rocky, a rocky, rocky, or a shiny, a shiny rocky, kind of look and then everything else everything else will still be real rough so now we can actually see the light reflecting off of the mountains kind of looking but the other collars don't so now we got this kind of look right son you know what i'm talking about changing a couple parameters dude we didn't have to paint any of this we didn't have to paint any of this none of it and i mean it changes on the fly son you know what i'm talking about grab the landscape tool go into sculpt i go right here if i sculpt it Boom, it's creating mountains. It's adding all kind of gray and yellow and I can go back and change the colors. I can dive some of it out, you know what I'm talking about? Get rid of it, flatten it out a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I could go to the flatten tool, you know what I'm talking about? And grab it about right here and then just start flattening and getting rid of it, oh, you know what I'm talking about? Getting rid of a bunch of our mountains or creating a creating like an indention like that, you know what I'm talking about? But like I said, now when you sculpt, 
oops, oops, not that, sculpt. Now when you sculpt, it does it on the fly. You're not painting. It's painting for you. Artificial painting intelligence. API, baby, all day, every day. Don't be scared. We could just keep adding colors. You could add textures now, normal maps, different parameters. I mean, guys, this is, this is, this is freaking sweet. I mean, this is a sweet, sweet thing to be able to do. So definitely toy with this. And now you got these looks. I'm on F11 and walking through this freaking, oh, oh, let's get out of the, let's get out of the paint tool. But anyway, there, yeah, the scape, or the, landscape tool but now you literally just can go through your world and you can see all the lines because i need to build my lighting now but you can see kind of what we're doing we can we're literally just changing the color based off the slope and we're doing it with these world align nodes right here and guys i know we're actually working with materials a lot even though we have a material series but hey we need this stuff, man. This is for landscape stuff only. You could do this type of trick with any mesh. So think about that. Think about what you could do with a ball or a box. Huh? A box and a ball together at the same time. Don't be scared. Tear them both up. I don't care. But the point is, this is a really, really powerful tool for landscape and terrain building. Again, these are just collars and we're just toying around. But still, guys, I hope this uh, helped you out a lot. I know it's been really helpful for me. So thank you guys. Appreciate y'all watching. Have a freaking awesome day, Josh, with the Pride Productions. Hit up the Facebook page, please. Like the... the or subscribe to the channel, YouTube, Deprived Productions. Hit us up on SoundCloud, Deprived 2018. All kind of music for free. The album's up, all that cool stuff. Mixer on the way, all kind of more tutorials. Guys, use this, man. This is a sweet, sweet skill. If you didn't know it already, definitely toy with it. Very, very helpful. Toy with those parameters. Toy with, toy with those values. Make some changes and make stuff pretty, man. Have some fun. Appreciate you guys. Love you. Miss you. Peace.